Do you have a favorite classic Hollywood actor from the 1959 movie Pillow Talk? Or perhaps there's a particular character that stole your heart. As we delve into the world of this iconic film, we'd like to know what classic Hollywood actor in this movie was your favorite, or out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Now, let's explore some random facts about Pillow Talk to set the stage. This delightful romantic comedy, directed by Michael Gordon, stars the legendary pairing of Rock Hudson and Doris Day. The film is known for its clever use of split screens and witty humor, making it a timeless classic in the world of cinema. As we reminisce about this beloved movie, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Pillow Talk. Your stories and memories are a valuable part of the conversation, so please feel free to share them in the comments below. What classic Hollywood actor in this movie was your favorite? Or out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Pillow Talk, released in 1959, is a classic romantic comedy film directed by Michael Gordon, starring Doris Day as Jan Morrow, and Rock Hudson is Brad Allen. The story revolves around Jan, an interior decorator, and Brad, a songwriter, who share a party line, leading to numerous comical misunderstandings. Brad adopts a false identity to charm Jan over the phone, while in reality, the two despise each other. Things take a turn when they meet in person, and the romantic sparks fly. As their relationship deepens, the web of lies becomes increasingly tangled. The film's witty banter, glamorous style, and the charismatic performances of Day and Hudson make it an enduring classic. Pillow Talk not only popularized the romantic comedy genre, but also cemented the iconic screen pairing of Day and Hudson, setting the stage for their subsequent collaborations. This timeless film remains a beloved part of cinematic history and continues to influence popular culture with its portrayal of love, humor, and the importance of honest communication in relationships. Rock Hudson's first comedy in the 1959 movie Pillow Talk. Hudson, mainly known for his dramatic roles, took on a new challenge in this classic romantic comedy. Directed by Michael Gordon and co-starring Doris Day, the film stands out for its innovative use of the widescreen format, incorporating clever split-screen optics to create sly sexual innuendos. One iconic scene suggests Day and Hudson are sharing a bathtub with his toes sliding down the wall, tickling her in step. Additionally, the movie features a humorous moment where Day's character inflates Hudson's height to six feet six inches, despite his actual height of six feet four inches. This added height was a clever technique to make shorter actors like Tony Randall and Nick Adams appear taller, both being five feet eight inches or shorter. These unique elements added to the film's charm, making it a memorable entry in the romantic comedy genre. Three, Spanish TV screened this movie on the 20th of July 1969 while everybody was waiting for the Apollo landing on the moon. Suddenly, the film stopped and Spanish people could see the landing live. The film was not reshown on Spanish TV until 1999, when Spanish viewers finally could see the ending. On July 20th, 1969, as the world anxiously awaited the historic Apollo landing on the moon, Spanish TV viewers found themselves in an unexpected situation. The classic 1959 movie Pillow Talk was playing, and just when things were getting interesting, the film abruptly stopped. Instead, Spanish viewers were treated to a live broadcast of the Apollo landing on the moon. It wasn't until 1999 that Spanish audiences got the chance to see the ending of Pillow Talk. This unique event in the movie's history made it forever associated with the Apollo 11 mission and added an intriguing twist to its legacy. Doris Day and Rock Hudson, the iconic pair of Pillow Talk, had a unique on-screen chemistry. While they appeared deeply in love, they were never romantically involved. Day took her marriage vows seriously, and Hudson, a closeted gay man, shared a profound mutual respect with Day. Their on-screen magic was a result of their genuine friendship and a playful sense of fun. Hudson initially turned down the film three times, deeming the script too risk. Meanwhile, Day's platinum blonde wig in the movie set a trend, becoming the go-to choice for suburban women. These behind-the-scenes facts add depth to the enduring legacy of this 1959 classic. Rock Hudson had reservations about starring in the 1959 movie Pillow Talk. Despite being contractually obligated, 
He was concerned that the film's content was too risk and could damage his masculine image. It was Doris Day who eventually persuaded him to take on the role. This decision turned out to be one of Hudson's biggest hits. Their on-screen chemistry and Day's convincing pitch overcame Hudson's initial hesitations. This behind-the-scenes story adds an interesting layer to the history of the film Pillow Talk, showcasing the power of a convincing co-star and the lasting impact of the movie. Ross Hunter's determination to bring the 1959 film Pillow Talk to the big screen faced considerable resistance. At the time, Hollywood had its own set of rules and norms, and this classic romantic comedy was poised to challenge them. The movie seemed daring because censorship standards of the era forbade men and women from lying in the same bed. Even for married characters, the rules stipulated that if they shared a bed, one had to be seated with one foot on the floor, a detail often observed in many TV shows from that time, leading to the prevalence of twin beds for fictional married couples. The film's content and the choice of its stars, Doris Day and Rock Hudson, also raised concerns in the industry. Some believed that sophisticated comedies like Pillow Talk were a thing of the past, overshadowed by war films, westerns, and grand spectacles. Hunter encountered resistance from theater owners who were reluctant to book the film. They doubted the enduring appeal of Day and Hudson and dismissed their popularity as a relic of the past. However, Ross Hunter's determination paid off when he convinced Saul Schwartz to book the film for a two-week run at the Palace Theater in New York, where it became a tremendous success. The public's hunger for romantic comedy prevailed and the film's triumph forced the industry to take notice on Hunter's terms. In a time when the movie landscape was dominated by different genres, Pillow Talk managed to break the mold and find its place as a timeless classic, thanks to the persistence and vision of its producer, Ross Hunter. This behind-the-scenes struggle and eventual triumph showcased the enduring power of a compelling story and the enduring appeal of the film Pillow Talk. Doris Day's transformation from the girl next door to a classy, sophisticated sex symbol was a notable outcome of the 1959 movie Pillow Talk. In a plot considered quite sexy for its time, the film helped redefine Day's image. Her on-screen chemistry with Rock Hudson, who insisted that Nick Adams be given a part in the movie, added depth to the story. Interestingly, Tony Randall's character, jealous of Day's budding relationship with Hudson, ironically insinuated that Hudson's character was gay, despite the fact that Randall, known for his distinctive way of speaking, was not. These behind-the-scenes dynamics and the film's impact on Day's career are fascinating aspects of Pillow Talk's legacy. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the 1959 cinematic gem, Pillow Talk, I invite you to pause for a moment of introspection. This timeless romantic comedy has woven its way into the tapestry of our cinematic experiences, leaving a lasting imprint on countless hearts. It's a tale of love, laughter, and the complexities of human connection. Consider the first time you encountered Doris Day's effervescent charm, or the suave charisma of Rock Hudson, and how their on-screen chemistry set your heart aflutter. Perhaps you found yourself chuckling at the witty banter, and clever plot twists, marveling at the elegance of the era, or simply relishing in the magic of classic Hollywood. Now, as we bid adieu to Pillow Talk, I encourage you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about this cinematic masterpiece. Did it inspire you to embrace the power of communication and honesty in your own relationships? Or maybe it was a source of comfort during a challenging time in your life. Your perspective is unique, and your voice adds to the rich tapestry of this film's legacy. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic journey, for your time and interest, and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Let us continue to celebrate the enduring magic of Pillow Talk and the countless stories it has touched. Until we meet again in the world of cinema, keep those memories alive.